Hi guys. I thought we'd carry on with our um, phonics and alphabet work that we started yesterday. So today I'm going to start from where we left off. We finished with O or O. So at this day we're going to carry on with P or P. We've got a pair for P and P. Who's this? She's got a crown on. I think it's the queen and that sound is a Q or a Q. Q. Then we've got R or R for robot. This is a sound that lots of us know. S we sometimes do a snake hand for that one, don't we? And it's an S for saw. This one is a T, 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 or T for tomato. Then we've got a, 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 or U for umbrella. Mm, what's this one? V or V for volcano. And then we've got W or W for windmill. X or a X sound for x-ray, Y or a Y sound for yo-yo, and the last one is a Z or a Z for zip. Let's just have a look now at the upper and lower case for those letters. So remember we said yesterday that some of them look the same, some of them look a little bit different, some are just a bigger version or a smaller version. So with the P or the P, they do look very similar, but the smaller P is down here and its tail comes a little bit longer down. Then we've got the Q or the Qu, and they look quite different from each other. The R or the R, they look different with the upper and lower case. The S or the S look very set, the same, but just one is a little bit bigger than the other. The T or the T, it's very straight lines for the capital and more curved lines for the lower case. Or the U or the U, uh, they do look very similar, but the small one has got a little tail on it. The V looks the same for upper or lower case. The W looks very similar as well. It's a little bit more curved on the lower case. The X or the X looks the same, two straight lines. And then here's the Y. This is a tricky one that a lot of us get a bit confused with. And it's more straight lines for the capital and more curvy lines with a bit of a tail for the small. And the Z is our final letter with a straight line and one is bigger than the other. Okay, that's the end of our alphabet. I hope you enjoyed that one. Bye-bye.